Hi everybody, Steve Bedder from Autodesk in the UK here. Sorry it's been so long since the last video, but I've got a great one for you now using the updated Inventor 2012 2D to 3D tool. Now the 2D to 3D tool can be downloaded from labs.autodesk.com and now supports Inventor 2012. And what it allows us to do is take any existing 2D data, in this case here I've just got this simple AutoCAD DWG file, um, and I've opened this up in Inventor and I'm using the layer tools with inside of Inventor just to turn off the layers that we don't want and then we're just going to select the geometry right mouse click and copy and then right click and then paste that into a new sketch within a new part and what you'll see is that all of that 2D geometry comes across but even the dimensions come across as well you may have noticed that actually when I copied it there were no dimensions on screen well, Inventor is intelligent enough to actually read the geometry um, and then actually add the dimensions but even better than that you'll notice that the original sketch is in imperial so in feet and inches but my inventor document is in metric millimeters so automatically gives me the correct values based on the um, on the default units that I've got selected now you'll notice that I've got the 2d to 3d tool up on my ribbon bar up at the top right hand corner there and all I need to do is first set the base view then set the projected views and then I can use the heads-up display that we've got in Inventor 2012 to be able to extrude this and I can reuse the uh, the dimension values so I don't need to input the values I can just reuse them because they're there as intelligent sketch detail I'm going to intersect the right hand view and then I'm just going to add the holes and again I'm just going to use the sketch geometry that we've got to create these counter bore holes so I'll just pick on the center points for each of those sketches and then for the size values again we've got the dimension values there so I can just use my little pick tool to go and pick those values select OK and as quick as that I've been able to convert that existing AutoCAD DWG drawing into an Inventor 3D part model with uh, intelligent sketches, dimensions and constraints <laughs> 